And the truth is, these elections that we have had have actually cast a lot of doubt. And they don't it actually taint the image of the country in democratic credentials hugely. My name is Thomas Mokonte. I am the spokesperson for the Consortium for Good Governance, Human Rights and Rule of Law. The Consortium for Good Governance, Human Rights and Rule of Law, the consortium comprises of 17 civil society organizations drawn from different facets of this country. We get interest in issues of human rights, rule of law, and democratic governance. We get a position on the June 24 elections as alone, as civil society activists. We monitor the process, we observe the process. Things that we observe in the electoral process, we also don't be detailed in the reports of other international and local observers. And things that have to do with free, fair, and credible nature of the elections. The elections, we all note that observers from both the international and local communities don't acclaim and for be fraught with a lot of problems. That there are a lot of challenges for people for having reach to the stations, people are waiting in certain areas, we are marginalized, we are victimized from going to their areas that they need to vote. Certain parties don't even get agents in certain areas them for actually go and do their work they for do for observe in, on behalf of the parties. We notice uh, certain political parties, so what's in a certain areas at the southeast, we are victimized, party offices we are bound. We notice, uh, of course, a lot of human rights abuse happen, killings take place, physical attacks, people were displaced. And the electoral process, all come to and proper, we get a lot of challenges. We get to do it transparency. And when once an electoral process gets transparency issues, wherein the electoral commission fail to make a clear or for display the computation process of the results, so that political parties then will get a clearer view of the entire process. It casts a shadow of doubt into the electoral process. And today, reports will not come out from other observers like new. It points at fact that the process, in fact, even the figures that we make long announced, they at variance between what happen at different stations. Now the elections we are supposed to go into one off. This view, we also hold this view as a consortium. And that is why we the joint voice with the organizations here. So we hold their views here because their views then they in line with we own views and observations. For say we believe that elections were not free and fair and they were not transparent. That there is need for lay people away they in charge of conducting elections, institutions therefore own up their responsibilities and respect the people of this country. Power, authority, and legitimacy they come from the people through the ballot. And when once we see institutions where the views, the aspirations, the will of the people, they'll be thwarted, they'll be subverted. By state institutions supposed to protect them, we get a duty to come out and call them out and call things as they are. <laughs> we have seen a lot of attempts to try for actually create a different narrative in the public domain by different state actors and other civil society institutions. We believe say everybody come at this world and everybody gets the role we will play. If that not the role we don't decide to play, we not go fault them on that. We own role is to ensure that we hold government institutions account and stand by the truth and defend the truth. And the truth is, these elections that we have had have actually cast a lot of doubt, and they don't it actually taint the image of the country in democratic credentials hugely. So we are very concerned about that. And the attacks on the international community by members of government or state functionaries, other actors, is unfortunate. It's unfortunate. When people observe elections and get a right and get a duty for come out and explain what they see, if these people come out and explain the realities the way they see on the ground, we see and say it is unfortunate for let anybody in the right senses for one for they go out and begin to attack them and attack their personalities, and even when we get reports of attacks, death threats on observers then at this country. It is unfortunate. Salon cannot stand alone. Salon is part of a wider global community. We don't rely on the international community hugely in this country before the war and even after the war. We see the role the international community play and where they continue to play and with developmental aspirations in this country. It is sad, it is unfortunate, it is uncalled for, it is unwise 
unless we continue for the in a state where people will attack the international community simply because they came out and made their position clear. So this press conference was deliberately organized to bring out these issues and to take a position on this. Because we see as civil rights activists who get a duty to stand by the truth and defend the truth wherever it is, wherever it is needed. We position resonates with the international community in position. We observe these elections. We were accredited by an electoral commission. We were all over the place. For instance, me organization alone, I began over 50 observers. We have been moved within this Western area no more. And we observe other parts of the country. Similarly with other organizations already part of this consortium. So we are very, very much abreast with the issues. We get first-hand knowledge about what everything happened at centers. And we know we don't follow the process up to this point to continue to follow up. So whatever we say, we are saying it out of experience and what we observe. And we observations and they in line, thoroughly in line with within the international community or observers they observe. And that is why we believe, see, we get a duty for bringing out the issues they are. Attacking the international community, the observations or what have you don't come out, is one of the most uncouth things the way anybody will do. So I feel say, let me just see how we forget to institutions that will be credible. And let me ensure that we respect the will of the people. Because power and authority and legitimacy, they only come from the people of this country. And nothing else. Any other way possible to get power or authority is illegitimate.